Yeah. All right. Look at this. Cloud Falco, two link uh, game and watch. Let's see what we got. All right, she has to the stage here. All right, and then I, I I love doubles, but I always feel like it always starts off the same, right? You always break off into your initial one v one. I feel like every team goes to like, okay, I'm gonna fight him, and you fight him. I do wonder if there's like a hidden meta in doubles where you go for like you try to force two v one situations as much as you can. But I'm, either way, yeah, that's usually kind of the strategy. You kind of want to. Like I said, you want to put one of these our opponents at disadvantage, and then kind of if you're if their partner's not, you know, in a danger zone, you kind of just focus on that two v one, right? Yeah. Uh, and they get damage that way, while also keeping your eye out on your opponents. But right now, ooh man, medium already with the up tilt at the back of the absolute classic combo. It, it works extra well on these like low weight characters. Uh huh. And great uh, edge guard or ledge uh, weapon. Back here. That's right. Yeah, yeah, Hedium always knows the kill that you do. He is no stranger to Twitter clipping his opponents, right? I'm sure we're gonna see plenty of that in this match. Oh, yeah. And Kaius, dude, Cloud with the huge oh, uh, destroy wow. hitbox. Just didn't wait against both these characters. Yeah, I was gonna say, great angle from Medium there to get back to stage. I definitely thought he was dead. Oh, there. oh, oh no, me. is that. Is that. Let's see the edge guard. Okay. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah, great, great. Edge. Well, both your stops are taken really, really fast. I was focused on uh, how uh, people can get back to stage. I realized that Kaius was kinda. Got hit up the side too. Yeah, okay, good up to the back here. Uh, not gonna take the stock. And see what I'm saying? Monty is playing the role of the stock tank right now. He's the, he's the one that has the most, uh, still has all three of the stocks. Yeah. Awesome. Really, when things look, see how light you watch is, but yeah, he just kinda gets in and gets out, so he doesn't take, he doesn't take as much damage as you would think. Yeah. And I, I feel like uh, what's kinda happening with the yellow team here is that when I see one of them taking advantage, you don't like either Kai or the video. Trying to save them, but they're coming in with these big aerials and initially hitting their teammate uh, instead. Well, either instead or along with uh, the enemy the team. Yeah, now as we saw in the Shoot King match, when both of them were playing Luigi and people were kind of just like uh, running into their upbeats, that's one of the reasons why Monty's able to survive for so long. He tried to feel like he could get away with this and he was, oh my god. And that was so good. Because see, in that situation, Monty understood and did so did Marco that Monty only had 9%. He Great was time. 9 in that upbeat. So if he's going to hit him into a get stun to get that upbeat confirmed, like, okay, I take 10%, yeah. I'm taking your stock. Yo, time, yo, time, yo, as much as I love Vegas, yo, they kind of getting freed up right now. Oh my god, yo. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Marco and Monty, the m, m team, bro. Look at them, yo, they making stuff out happen out here. Oh yeah, my yeah, god. Yeah, what else? What else? Oh, oh great no. Okay, down great down by okay, Not too bad. Not okay, here right come there. the combos. Ooh, what about back here? They just need to get one more sick combo or one more stock out just to keep things up. It is not over for them just yet. Oh, that's okay, big yeah, nice holding the shield on the uh, on up snap over there. Meanwhile, okay. Two only games to take it back. Back on stage. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, Mark it was not. Yeah, he was not paying yeah. attention to that uh that beam right there. Get hit by it. Okay. Yeah, back to the 1v1. Oh, here. wait a second. Yeah, two, ed two edge guards for the yellow team. They're both in, in, in advantageous situations. Yeah, oh, but they didn't even kick uh, back to his partner. Ooh, oh, I like Marco's that, though. It. It's a fat punish. Oh, oh he misses, misses everything. Yeah, just misses uh, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunate. I, yeah, I mean, I, I like the options of the economy be drip uh, behind him or in front of him, too, but he just dripped a little too far out of the space. Okay, this match here. is way closer than it seemed just a, a, a moment ago. Everyone's yeah, that's going to take oh this stock here. Dude, Matt. The yellow team was down like two stocks and magically just through a whole bunch of really favorable situations. They're able to close it out to a 2v1. Yeah, but they, it's not over though. But they are bleeding here. That's but. right. Be very, very careful. It's two uh, injured opponents against one fresh stock. Let's see what's better. Is the power of teamwork better or is the yeah. solo Monty going to you know, make the comeback all in its own? Yeah, and this is good stuff. Uh, especially the they play. Oh, oh, I don't agree God. with that one. Yeah, Kai's definitely should have just leg. Uh, medium to finish that combo with Frank. All right, they're still able to rack up some. Oh, oh no, yeah, is Kamen that it? Kamen. Okay, guys, this is where heroes are made. Are you able to? Is Monty able to carry his? Or is he gonna find to close it out? Yeah, Medium is definitely a uh, capable of Oh yeah, that my god, yeah. that's crazy, guys. This is why even when you're down one versus two, you never give up. Monty was able to make it happen. He noticed that both of his opponents were at high percentages, so he was like, okay, if I just get one of them down, I can get the other one. Uh, sometimes when you are at a two v one situation, when you're when you're the one with two players, you can get a, get a little bit cocky, get a little bit overconfident, and make riskier plays than you need to. Yeah, and, it, uh, and it's unfortunate too because I feel like there's a little bit of miscommunication in that two v one situation, right? Right, right. Because you know, typically in doubles, when you get to that point in time, uh, especially where Kai's and Medium was at, that's where that's where the uh, that's where the the comms and doubles come into play, right? Especially yep. when Medium caught Monty with that up tilt. 
you know, I don't know if he didn't uh, initiate the conversation to Kai saying, hey, I'm going for this combo, you know, lay off and just cover cover if I whiff right. uh, or anything. But it seemed like Kai's going to continuation with his combo and end up tossing uh, his stock actually first. But hitting Gideon with that backer definitely put him at disadvantage and definitely gave on to yeah. really get out of that Guys, situation. you have to remember that doubles really is a team game. I know yeah. that you guys have split it off into your own 1v1s, but at the end of the day, if you're, you know, your partner is what makes you or breaks you, they can yeah. either save your life or they can cost you the entire game. So you guys really have to make sure you're communicating with each other the entire time, all the way through, all the way up to the last stock is over. Doesn't matter if it's 2v1. Game's not done till it's done. Yeah. So, Monty able to make the clutch comeback right there, but listen, they kept, the yellow team still kept it close all the way through to the end. Well, we're, we're in for a great match here. There's no going to be, I don't think there's going to be any blowouts here. It's going to be all close all the way through. Yeah. So, let's see what, what's able to happen. Same characters all locked in again. Okay, man. Oh, Town and City. Yeah, Town and City, nice big stage. A lot of room to uh, maneuver. Yeah, I'm interested in the jazz work because I feel like both uh Link and Game of Watch preferably like the stage. They, they <laughs> do. I do know that Medium specifically loves the stage, though. Every time he has a counter pick, he always goes for Town and City. I'm not sure if it's because uh, he gets extra combo. Combos, or if it's like a comfort thing. Yeah. Either way, I know for a fact that medium person likes the stage a lot. Okay, up tilt. The air over there. Meanwhile, Kai is not doing too bad on his own. Okay, yeah, both uh, both the members of the uh, medium team are in disadvantage right now. Great stuff for Yellow Team. Yeah, they're doing a good job. Yeah, now see what I'm saying? Marco's cut him off to his thing. Uh, this is the time where he wants to move. Oh, Kai is trying to call out Marco going in aggressive. Like Trying to pick him out, you definitely cross that. Kai has made the executive decision to end up 2v one instead of like uh, fully committing to edge guarding uh, Marco. I wonder if that was just. Uh, yeah. yeah, it seems like Kai sometimes uh, has a little bit of miscommunication on his end. Either way, it's still a close match. It's not like yeah, either team is like. Oh, oh no, again, another yeah. team hit. Especially if you should know that there's going to be grab armor there. He should definitely go away from the girl that can uh, defend it before yeah. he does that for a bucket. It, in doubles, uh, team hits can be sometimes inevitable. They can happen, but you kind of want to limit them as much as possible. Yeah, but Mark also was a good stock, so it's still uh, pretty much dead even. That's right. It is really, really close. That's, that's the good news. Uh, oh, okay. good combo there. Yeah. Oh, oh, no! He's dead. Very, very fortunate. I think the uh, just the chaos of what's going on screen made Marco just barely miss spaces down air. Yeah. So he missed the stage, and then it's going to cost him a stop. That's a big mistake to make in doubles, by the way. You really do not want to be looking at that. Yeah, especially because this time around, Monty doesn't have three stocks, so it's definitely going to be that decision, especially if it comes down to the Marco losing the stock. Uh, oh, by the way, just some random bit of lore. Yesterday, Marco's controller was being really, really wonky. I hope he's got that bomb fixed for today. Today's yeah. the big tournament. Yesterday was knocked out. This is edge guard. Yeah, you yeah. really don't want to have uh, controller issues today. Yeah, get up smash out the show for Marco there. All right. Yes, I like that. Yeah. I like that Kai's at least let it so he can get back to the oh, right there. You know what? I honestly think uh, that Kai is hitting medium there. I actually saved this stock. I mean, still losing now, but yeah. definitely kept the real estate No, I see up. what you're saying. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, Not bad. There. And then, yeah, good forward air from the stadium there to kind of keep Marco off his Very, team. very, very, very close match. Uh, Yellow team actually has a bit of an advantage right now. If they're able to take a stock, they're going to actually pull ahead into a pretty significant lead. Yeah. Oh, my God. Marco kind of just... Uh, Oh no! Oh, oh. What? He yeah. died? He, he air dodged. He, he, he definitely That's air dodged. That's messed up. Listen, Yellow Team was actually in a really sick spot, right? They could have like really pulled ahead of the lead, but after uh, Marco takes that that stock, all of a sudden Blue Team is looking like hella nice now. Yeah, and, uh, and it's getting a little dice here. I can get back in the situation. Marco's yeah. carrying the stock as long as he can. But... And with every percent that you take, it gets more and more dangerous. Yeah. The stock counts. Like, oh, catches the roll back in the S match. Yeah. Stock counts are so important in this match because if you lose it, you can, oh. you can get yourself to two. Oh, but yeah, Game Watch is going to come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game Watch is recovery broken, bro. That good back there. Okay, so it's looking pretty good for the other team. They're both pretty healthy, but yeah. they got to get the stock off of Marco. If, they if I was, yeah, if that was them, I'd want to like double team Marco. like force double teams on Marco as much as I possibly could just to get a stock out. But listen, even if they are able to take Marco Marco's stock out, don't get overconfident. It's gonna be a little it's gonna be a literal deja vu repeat of last match where Monty's the last one standing. Yeah, especially because there. the longer Marco stays alive, the more percent That's there's right. another body to rack up for. Yeah. Oh great okay. save from medium there. Just there it is. Mad dicey for guys. But guys, okay, can you at least learn oh. from previous mistakes? Oh wait a second! Okay, it doesn't get the narrow. Okay, Wabo combo! Yep. Happy feet! That's actually Falco on the screen right there! 
Okay, okay, and that time he actually lets uh, Thedium finish the combo. Yeah, you saw there in game one, he would probably do that back here. Okay, I like that, yes. Ooh, but doesn't get the Kaius, Yeah, Kaius is now going in oh, when, when he knows that uh, Thedium has missed. Yeah. Guys, take your turns, guys, take your turns. Yep, there he goes. They're switching now. Yeah, realizing that the board is wild. Oh my god, there's no way Monty clutches this. I can, does he? No uh, shot. He definitely can. Oh, oh no! Yeah, there yeah, it yeah. is, there it is. I like that baiting um, Monty into getting rid of his opponent. So that way, he can just come in with the forward smash. And and yeah. Stuff. I, I also like the fact that Beatty waited. In a sense, it's kind of like bait your partner for the win. He actually yeah. waited for a game watch to finish the animation of best smash. Right. And I think he did that simply because a lot of the times in Smash, there could be that in situation where you guys clank your moves. Yeah. And Kai's was still buried. So if he clanked the moves and kills uh, Beauty up there, he definitely gets Kai's after Dude, that. Forget clank. Dude, Smash Ultimate is so weird sometimes. You might even get hit. That's what I'm person. saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So good stuff to him, like, you know what, Kai's? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm you're the, you're the sacrifice that we need to have, bro. You're the yeah, sacrifice yeah, we need yeah. to have. But the crazy thing is, is if you're in Monty's shoes, the optimal play there might actually have been to hit the down smash Again. and then not hit the down smash and not even like finish the combo. Either get out of that situation or yeah, hit the down smash again. Yeah. Not even, but when you hit the down smash and you're a game watch, your muscle memory just tells you to hit that forward smash. smash. Yeah. yeah. To the point where yeah, it just kind of kind of got caught and uh, there's nothing really you can do there. What I really like though is that Caius and Thedium, they immediately adapted from last game. They did not make the same mistake they made last time. They got they got Monty down to two win again, but this time they're doing playing it correctly, taking turns. Yeah. Caius only went in for the hit when he saw that Thedium whipped. Right, right, right. Instead of like trying to interrupt the combo. I think what's going to come to this match is if Monty is in and these two v ones, both matches went down to where Monty was stock tanking, who's the last one surviving. Mm -hmm. But both uh, both Thedium and uh, Kaius were on their last stock with high percent. I feel like that might be a recurring theme in this match. That might decide who wins. If Monty's able to close out those stocks or if uh, Kaius and Thedium are going to uh, carry them through. Yeah, Battlefield's going to be our deciding map. It seems like they're not on the one they want before. Kind of just kind of playing close to the vest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not that yeah. Here comes the cross slash. And the, yeah. Ooh, wow. It, it, it's kind of hard too, because right? Cross slash, cross slash is such a long move. But we, that if he Kai's decides to commit to it, and is a, one of the players in the blue team is there for him, he's going to get that free punish every single time. Yeah, yeah. The only benefit to it is that it's such a big game block. You can actually hit cross slash like two people at once if you're going to get the perfect spacing. Yeah. In the meantime, though, it looks like uh, Blue Team's kind of running away with it right now. They're not too, they're not too, deep. They're not too deep. bad. Oh, wow, as Monty gets that down smash. Yeah, okay, but Marco. Oh, Marco. Oh, another no. Another SD. Yeah, very. Yeah, it's yeah. almost like they're bailing them out here with these SDs. I'm not sure what Marco was going for there. Sometimes uh, in the chaos of doubles, you kind of like lose track of where your character is. Uh, top players, they're trained to always look at their opponent and not their own character. And so you kind of like lose track of what's going on and you think your character's in one place and it's not. We do some unfortunate mistakes there. Alright, up there. Okay, wait a second yet. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Marco coming in to save the day for his partner. With Thedium. Making sure to uh, extend the uh, edge right there. Okay, guys getting back to stage. Yeah, guys doing a really good job of stock taking. So is Monty, but Monty is uh, extremely more healthier. Ooh, oh, another yeah. down smash by Monty. That's two stocks he's gotten off that. Oh, oh, three! Another down smash. He's got three hit. stocks in like less than two minutes off the down smash alone. Oh, right. that up oh, oh my yeah, gosh. Good stuff from there. What a sick combo, bro. Hello? I have not seen that in a minute, dude. The up to the back air, straight up. That's some crazy stuff right there. Yeah, so the clutch factor here is definitely going to have to be Kaius. If he can see, uh, hold on to this knock as long as he can. He really wants to, yeah. Dude, I don't know. Blue Team's doing pretty, pretty well, though. If you're yellow team, you got to make something happen right now. Otherwise, you're looking... In a bad spot. By the way, this is the best of three. This is the last match. There is no next game. Yeah. Both these players have to bring out their A game right now. Oh uh, man, this is really up deep. <laughs> up if you live across live man. Damn on. I can't believe this is only winning round two and we're already having like these stacks. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, Monty. That's not what you can see if you're yellow team. Up smash with Monty, they're gonna connect. Hey listen, sometimes this happens, man. Sometimes you just save all your sauce for the last game. You know what I'm saying? You just you go into a different gear at the end. And Monty and Mark were showing it. Really, Monty, honestly, he's been the MVP of this match so far, taking so many shots. Yeah, okay, get him smash there from uh, Kaius. 
Okay, this is not looking too bad. If they're able to just steal Monty stop real, real quick, they have a chance. The only problem is medium is such a as such a high percent. In fact, if I was medium, I'd really focus on playing defensive and not trying to like go for a On that backer from Monty, okay. Okay, there it is. So now, like I said, the clutch vector here is definitely going to be on uh, medium here. Yeah, medium has to stay alive. Medium is so much more useful oh, alive than dead. Oh yeah. no, that's not what you want to see right there. With the down oh. tilt, cross country killing it. Yeah. Great stuff by Marco and Thedium. I think, uh, uh, sorry, Marco and uh, Monty. I think Thedium and Caius, they were really starting to turn up at the end of the game there, but it was a little bit too late. Monty had already taken a, uh, done a bit too much damage. Yeah, and I, again, I, like, I, I think it was a lot, I kind of just, and I, I know they team a lot, so mm -hmm. it, it's kind of sad to see, but I feel like a lot of the times when one of them was pressing their advantage, the other one kind of almost got in the way, right? Yeah, like, yeah. It didn't feel like they were, uh, Understanding that, hey, my teammate's doing this, let me wait for this to finish, or like cover him for my other opponent, right? It just felt like there was just a lot of scramble situations where they would get that hit, and then their team, and like Kai's team was like, I gotta hit you now. And I gotta hit you now. That's the game. that's the real difference between an actual doubles team and two good players just teaming up with each other. Actual doubles team, it looks like a work of art sometimes, where they're playing in perfect sync. They played with each other so much, they know each other inside and out, yeah. to the point where there's never any miscommunication. When you just have two really good singles players that decide to team up for a doubles event, sometimes, even though their individual skill is really good, when it comes to actually working together, which is what nets you those wins in those clutch situations, sometimes it's just a little bit of flub, and just one tiny mistake, one tiny little miscommunication or something like that could cost you the entire set.